Okay guys, so uh, getting ready to put some larger tires on this thing. We're going to take the crash bars off. Thanks to all the YouTube uh, videos that I looked at before. Uh, I'm going to use all the techniques I learned online, so kudos to those guys. And uh, we're going to start with the left front, and uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so I've been working on this for a while uh, with the ratchet and there is no way those are Loctited in and if you just got a regular ratchet, it's not going to really work out too well. So you're going to need a, a breaker bar to kind of break those loose. So we'll try to figure that out. But I was able to break these nuts in the front loose uh, on, the, uh, on the actual bumper. So these right here and Basically, this just uh, pops off. This this you know piece right here just kind of pops right off, no problem. Once you loosen these, then that gives you the opportunity. Once you loosen the nuts, to pull this back and get your bar out. So we'll continue on. Okay, guys, uh, I was finally able to loosen these, and I made my own breaker bar. Uh, this is kind of a super long <laughs> metal pole. And I basically have just put the ratchet in the pole. My neighbor and I came up with this. Then you put it up in here and you do your thing and whatever, you get the idea. So use what's around the house if you can, but you got to break those loose with something. All right, we were able to uh, kind of get those loose. This is the bolt right here. Fairly large, fairly large bolt there. So. We're going to take the other one out, same process, and then we're going to uh, also work on the back ones doing the same process as well. And uh, that looks like there's enough clearance from the rocker step, so we'll just see how it goes from here. Alright, so we got both of the bolts off, they're out, and we're going to take this and we're going to try to move this out. <laughs> And that's just, you gotta really kind of yank back on that. And there you go. Good. We got it out. On to the next one. So it looks like uh, we might have to create a little space. I've been hacking my way through this whole thing and we're not gonna stop right now. So in order for me to get this in and toggle it and bring it back with some leverage, uh, we're gonna have to pop this, fend this fender off. So. There's little clips here. Just release the clips. I believe there's like maybe five of them, maybe. And then once you release the clips, it should detach from the vehicle. And you take that off. That gives you the extra clearance you're going to need to get your, your breaker bar, or in my case, the pole, uh, all the way out so you can break it up. So. All right, so I'm on the... Uh driver's side left side doing the back one ran into a little issue here we got to bring this felt back you can see to actually get in there I've gotten one off and not too bad I got this uh, basically this pry tool right here and this other pry tool so and uh, these little five clips I took off so you got to really take those back to peel this back and uh, basically turn the wheel outward like that so you can get in there. And My pole really didn't fit very well so I had to really uh, put the ratchet in and then actually get the pole behind the tire and then pull it out. But anyway, if you've got a ton of patience, you probably can do it. So we'll try to get this done and then pull it out. So you got to kind of get in there. Then you got to reposition the ratchet. Then you got to take the pole and toggle it in. And then slowly just kind of release until you keep doing that process until it gets loose enough where you can get in there by hand. And just do it that way. These little pins that came out, uh, I was trying to put them in and they didn't want to go, but here's the secret, I think. It's what you basically just 
take the screw, Phillips, unscrew that, and that loosens it up from the back. And then basically, then it's no problem. Then they loosen up, they come in, and they just pop right in. So that's the trick to getting these back in. And they just basically come in, push in, you're all set. All right, so we basically have the two bolts out. Took a lot of patience, we got it done. So we're just gonna pull this out. Simple, easy. Correct. Now on this side, uh, this rocker panel step here doesn't seem to be a problem, but I noticed on the other side that it is a problem. So when we get there, we'll figure that out. But this side, done, and uh, probably get some covers for this, and then get ready for some new wheels.